Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to uh, another film review. Tonight we're looking at an absolute classic. Uh, one of my favourite um, sort of sub-genre films. Um, yes, they're monster films, but this is um, Godzilla films. I absolutely love Godzilla films. And tonight we're going all the way back to the very first one, 1954 Godzilla. Um, I've got the film in this box set here. Um, yeah, you're thinking that's not a box set, that's a book. Now, this is the box set of uh, Godzilla um, from Criterion Films, and it contains like the first sort of 15 um, Godzilla films over sort of like eight discs. Um, this is a lavish sort of um, box set with amazing amazing artwork in it and there's lots of uh reading to do but every single film has its own sort of artwork so let's try and get to the first one this is the first one so you can see it's got its own sort of artwork uh amazing amazing box set really really cool and this contains like the first 15 films of the showra uh, era which was the first sort of era of the godzilla films um yeah this one was made in 1954 and it's a really really important kind of film in the sense it tackles some really big issues it's more about um this film is more about uh the destruction that human beings do rather than the actual um Godzilla monster itself because Godzilla itself is supposed to be like this ancient um, uh, creature that lived in the sea um, in the depths of the sea in the, in the abyss but around um, these islands and, and some of it's sort of, sort of based on true stories on it um, it's all based around these Japanese islands um, where the Americans after the World War Two, were doing lots of nuclear weapon tests and the hydrogen bomb um, tests and stuff like that. And this has all occurred due to the result of these tests that the radiation in the water has reactivated um, a Godzilla and Godzilla sort of feeds on sort of like radiation and sort of nuclear sort of power. And it sort of resurrected him up. And this this film sort of begins with a sort of like um, a couple of boats being destroyed out in the same spot. The sea, for like first of all, it's almost like a volcano sort of going off, um, and these sort of boats being sunk, and they're trying to find out what it is. And then there's a storm one night in a nearby island where it looks like the island's being destroyed by this weather. And then in the morning, they see these huge sort of footprints in there. So it's not the weather, it's uh, it's something else. And so there's lots of things all going on. And they're, they're, they're sending out research teams to these areas to try and find out what is causing this um, disruption in their sort of in their environment it's just that is sort of like um putting all their little these little islands and japan and tokyo at risk and we all know it's godzilla uh that's sort of coming back to life now in the early film godzilla was looked upon as as as, as a baddie he he wasn't a a, a this sort of like um um, hero that's been betrayed by like the American sort of films. He was looked upon as like a to be feared, um, like a sort of evil kind of creature, sort of spirit. Um, and so their first thing to do is to try and destroy it. And so they tried to figure out destroy it, but and, and they start talking about um, how the human beings have sort of like created this. Uh, disaster themselves upon themselves by sort of like doing all these experiments and stuff and all these sort of strange things happen and a little bit of that is also based on a true story because the, one of these is about a boat that gets destroyed now uh, there was a hydrogen bomb that would that the americans tested out in these waters um post world war Two. And they cleared the island and sort of evacuated the area. But there was one boat there. I'm not sure it's called... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I don't know if it's Lucky 7 or Lucky 
12 or whatever the boat was called but it was in that area and the crew um, got obviously radiation poison and their food that they caught the tuna and the stuff that they caught the sea that they brought back and shipped out and sold also had radiation poison and a lot of people were affected by it um, and and so all these kind of little things in the film are, are some of it is based around true story and it's quite a very downbeat film it's a very serious film it's not really like your average monster flick it's a real sort of serious film with lots of um, political sort of background and you, and you see all sorts of sad events happening you see like a raft arriving with a body of the local villager and he and all, all the village around him are absolutely mourning and crying and heartbroken that one of their locals has, has been killed by this what's happened out at sea and then we see later in the film when um, Godzilla does hit land and starts um, sort of destroying towns and villages, there you see a young woman with her two children because uh, they can't get away, and she's sort of like almost kissing them goodbye. It's all these sort of really sort of really harsh sort of things taken about, which was really quite um, uh, it was really quite um, different for this sort of period. You know, we'd not sort of come across this. Uh, in 1954, I mean, this was filmed in black and white. I think most of that is solely down to budget. Um, but yeah, it was filmed in black and white. And the Godzilla itself, when he does make an appearance, it, in some places he's very cute and very sort of like hysterical. But in other cases, he's absolutely huge and massive. And, and you could see how audiences would have been fearful of him. And when he starts uh, breathing his, his, his sort of radiation onto uh, areas and starting to set them on fire it's it can be quite devastating so they're trying to fathom out ways to um to to destroy godzilla and then there's another scientist on it it's done an invention which was called like an oxygen killer which is like if you put it in water everything around that area will die because it just destroys all the oxygen in the water um, and they want to use this. He doesn't want to. Um, and, and obviously in the end they do. They use it. They put it in the water. Uh, but it kills all the wildlife and stuff that's in that water, in that area. And the scientist can't forgive himself. Thinking, what have I created? You know, what have I done? You know, why do we keep, as a, as, as a, as a creature on this planet, why do we just keep destroying everything we come across? And this is the message that comes across. And then you start thinking, is Godzilla put here for a reason to sort of like return the balance, if you like, because hu human nature is just destroying everything. So is Godzilla there to sort of like put the balance right, if you know what I mean? So... You need to watch it and find out. Um, what do I think of the original Godzilla? It's incredible. It's an amazing, amazing film. Yes, it's of its time. It's dated. And some of the film looks pretty rough. Although it's Blu-ray, it's a very old film. And it's not a film that's been taken great care of. But they've done the best they possibly can with the restoration of it. Um, the, the plot. And the story is the main thing of this film. Like I said, it's not all about the monster. There, there is lots of shots of Godzilla destroying um, plastic cars and, and buildings, and and you can see in some parts of the film it's wonderful. Like a, uh, you can see the person in the car is a plastic figure, and, and it's fantastic. It's just brilliant, and so it's got all that sort of charm to the film. But the most important thing about the film is 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 the overall story, what it's telling you, and what we've done to create such a situation where uh, the planet has this creature that has to try and return the balance of life. Um, brilliant story, really well acted. The, the women in the film are a little bit irritating because they all very overact and they start crying and yelling and wailing all the time. And it's just like, oh, come on, stop it now. But the story is fantastic. It is quite a long film. It's, it's over two hours. Um, and, and there's a lot going on to sort of like grip. So it's a film that can require quite a, um, some rewatch value in there just to see what's going on. Um, 
but it's amazing. Uh, Godzilla looks fantastic. It looks really, really cool. Um, for 1954, you know, he's not going to look like the Godzilla you've had lately um, in, in the Godzilla films, but and of course I am not going to show him on this video uh, because I want you to find and see him yourself because I don't want to spoil that. Um, but anyway, that's it. And I'm going to score this film now as an essential watch and give it a 10 out of 10. It's an absolute essential watch because mostly because of the, the political story that this, this, this sort of film gives off and the wonderful way it's shot and the wonderful way they sort of introduce this storyline of how humans are destroying it into like a monster film, which is absolutely really, really cool and advanced for its time. Amazing. Godzilla 1954, 10 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. Really, really cool film. Absolutely amazing. Um, it, it, it's an old film, but it doesn't get old. And the story is just as important today as it was then because we haven't learned anything and we're still doing the same mistakes. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. Please check it out if you've never seen it. It's definitely worth Now, I, I don't know... Uh, where you can pick it up. I mean, you might be able to pick up a second-hand DVD or Blu-ray something, but it might come at a price. I mean, because it is it is deleted, but it's it's a really 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 cool. Guys, until my next video, please check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, The Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzawell. I'm the Ice Lord. Cat watches horror movies and grumpy andrew's haunted house and a massive shout out to my godzilla loving son uh, lemon lord till next time look after yourselves look after one another and i really hope i see you all soon